Hi guys. guys, welcome to our channel, yeah, Real Black Love with Sims, and this is Fongs. Um, we haven't been here in a while, guys, we were being tested last week, we recorded, but we were not happy with something. This week, no, actually still last week when we wanted to re-record, I had a thing on my lip and we just couldn't, <laughs> we just couldn't come back, but yeah, I think we are good now. Yeah, no, it's been tough. It's been tough for us. It's been tough for you guys because you haven't been receiving any content from us mm -hmm. because of those things. Mm -hmm. If you are new here, please subscribe. We'd love for you to come back and watch more of our content. Yes, we have a please. lot more. Uh, today's topic, I think you should introduce the topic because... Okay, I think <laughs> there's something that we are disagreeing about. We have two different views on it. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys might also have two different views as partners out there. I'm talking to people in relationships mm -hmm. or even Jay, as individuals, you might, you know, I think, I think Jay, South Africa is torn between, <laughs> you know, the two <laughs> about this one. Yeah. Um, and that is having, relate, having friendships mm -hmm. Or a friendship with an opposite uh, opposite, opposite sex. sex. Is that something that would work out if you're in a relationship? To have, if me, Bongani, I was to have a female friend. Mm. Would that benefit my relationship? Mm. Or would it be the reason why we, we are having some arguments? Yeah. You know? um, yeah, so we are very interested in hearing what you guys think um what is, what is your take on that well my take is that like from growing up i've never had any issues with that um there was a time i didn't have any female friends then there was a time where i started to have some female friends mm -hmm. it never was a problem for me and i never really looked at it as female friends i think that's because I only took them as friends and nothing more. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really focus on whether they are female or male. Mm -hmm. As long as we clicked and there was something that just got us to, you know, um, vibe together as, fr as, as friends. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, for me, that's, you know, that was cool. Mm -hmm. um, so I've never had any problem with that. Mm -hmm. And even with you mm -hmm. being my partner, I could never have any problem with, you having a male friend mm. um, as long as it's the friendship is it's just a friendship and mm. there's obviously I mean I don't think you would tell me if the friendship was to <laughs> be was something more else than that. you know, <laughs> you know um, but I wouldn't really object honestly if it was a genuine friendship if I believe it's a genuine friendship mm. and there's nothing to it more to it I'm cool with it um, before I speak about, you know, my view, what about the friendship will give you an impression of it being a genuine friendship? In, in the case where I have a guy friend, what about that friendship or about that guy would make you feel at ease with that being a genuine, no strings attached, innocent friendship? um for me it's about i think it would be it's it's hard to to you know just put in words mm. or summarize quickly you mm. know i think jay if it does not if there are no red flags you know that are popping up i would still be comforted to mm. know that it's just a friendship mm. and red flags could be or things that would make me feel like it's when if if you guys don't spend too much time together, mm. call each other like often mm. and chat all the time. <laughs> and you know, where I feel like, hi hey, man, come on, man. How is it that every now and then, Jay, this guy is always the last person she chat, she had a chat with on WhatsApp or the, you know, called or whatever. Mm. Um, their opinions matter so much that you always have to, you know, uh, pass some things by them, mm. you know, ask them this and that. And, you know, yeah, because at the end of the day, they are an opposite sex. Mm. So I wouldn't, 
I think there would be a problem if I feel like that opinion matters mm. so much that if we have to take a decision, I feel like you always have to somehow, you know. Run it past them. Yeah. Hear what my friend has to say. <laughs> exactly, you know, which is what I'm seeing a lot on Date My Family. Mm. You know, when there's this guy, suppose the, the, the person that um, they're representing is a woman and, yeah. there's, and there's a guy. And this guy now is asking some questions like, yo, okay, so I have to always go through you, mm. you know, to get to her. Yeah. And so this is how it's going to be. Or even if it's, you know, the roles are reversed. It's, 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 a, it's a woman representing a guy. Mm. And now she speaks as though um, things have to be run past her all the time. Or she has to be the person who gives the go ahead and the green light and, you know. Mm. So, I mean, I think it gives the, the, the person who... Uh, is in the relationship with the, you know, mm -hmm. that sense, okay, I think this person might be more than just a friend. I get you. I really get you. Um, I like the fact that you mentioned that you've, you've never had an issue with it, even from how you grew up. Mm. Even though you didn't have friends who were female back then, but even when it happened, it was not a thing for you. And I think our, our past, our history, sort of shape how we view certain things. For me, I grew up knowing or having an impression that girls and guys cannot be friends. You know, mm. from, from where I grew up, it was not a norm as kids. Yes, we'd have friends, you know, as kids, like we are all friends. But we wouldn't have friendships with opposite sex that were like the way friendships with girls would be you know mm. where this guy is like your tight friends i know that in primary i had friends in fact initially classmates but who became friends where during break times we'll eat together and all of that yeah. but eventually what then that led too, because I was now in adolescence, like we were all in that age group where we are starting to see, oh, there's girls, there's guys. We're starting to like, by tent, mm. yeah, to like people who were in my circle because those were the guys that I was, or the boys that I was exposed to. So in the circle where we are like eight friends, four are guys, five are girls, or whatever the case is, I would then spot a guy that I'm like, oh, I actually like him and he actually likes me back, then it'll escalate to it becoming a relationship. So I think for me, because of that beginning or that foundation and the fact that I never grew up with girls and guys becoming friends, that sort of shaped how I viewed girls and guys' friendship, that they tend or they may grow into something else that they were not initially so i think that has um shaped my my view on on opposite sex friendships mm. yeah but i think okay fine i understand that you mm. know but i think we are now grown-ups mm -hmm. we should be able to to have um what do you call it to have um discipline right yeah um just because i am exposed to some female colleagues who I have lunch with, mm -hmm. you know, at work or, you know, or we do stuff together mm -hmm. all the time at work mm -hmm. and I go to work every day. Does not mean that I should then allow for a situation where I could end up thinking, hey, yeah, I think it could work out with her, you yeah. know? I'm not saying it's impossible for it to happen, mm -hmm. right? Or I'm not saying that but even if it happens mm. for any reason, you need to be able to say, because we have feelings, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it can happen anywhere, in any setting. Sometimes it does not even, it can, it can happen with someone who does not, who you, who you don't even spend much time with. Mm -hmm. It can happen with some colleague or that a... You see once yeah, that one, you see you once. once. No, yeah. you see once. Mm. Literally, you're in a meeting, you're like, hey. <laughs> Hey, mm. <laughs> you know, and they yeah. were just walking in. Mm. Then later she starts speaking like, yeah, mm. Mm. yeah, mm. I'm listening. 
But when you get up from your chair, ne, hmm. I feel like I believe that you should be able to say, "Fine, it was good while it lasted," mm. you know, mm. and that's all, uh, or that's as far as this whole thing will go. Mm. Or this is mm-hmm. because I'm in a relationship, and I know that things happen. Sometimes it's someone who resembles the kind of partner you wanted to end up with in mm. life, mm. but you just never ended up with that one who looks like that. Yeah. And when you see her, you're like, yeah, yeah, no, oh, no, I've been, hey. Or sometimes she just comes across as, or he just comes across as, you know, mm. the guy that you like and whatever. Mm-hmm. So, you look at that moment. Mm. But you need to be able to come back and say, well, anyway, mm. a sequel up. I, I think, understand. I think, I think that's what, that's, we are at that age. We are matured. We are mm. adults. And we can be able to basically protect ourselves mm. from any kind of situation. I understand what you're saying and I understand that maturity plays a very huge role in you being able to handle yourself mm. and being able to even handle that situation if it's you who is in it, mm. right? But at the same time, I feel like it's not it's also not easy to assess out if this thing is a safe thing. Let me make make an example. Yeah. What you said earlier is that um, you'll have to judge for yourself. Something like that. You didn't say that, like you mm, know. I get you. You'll have to judge for yourself whether this guy is actually a good guy with no other agenda, and that this friendship is okay. Then, if you see that it's innocent, you are going to be okay with the friendship, right? But I'm saying that that sussing out and checking whether something is innocent is very difficult to do because as people we are not the same Mm. for me i may view certain things that maybe you and your friend has have always had a culture of doing or a tradition of doing as as friends um and you see nothing wrong with that because that's how you guys have always been right this is how you guys show affection like I, I don't want to say affection as though it's like but show affection mm, i get you you hug you are very touchy you are very in each other's spaces you spend a lot of time together because that's how maybe your friendship has always been like or that's how that's your friendship language you understand what i'm saying that someone who takes interest in you so for me i might see those things as problematic which i think that is what tends to create problems within relationships where my view of a platonic innocent friendship is not the same as yours and you take certain things that you do as innocent things that you are doing with your friends you understand so i feel like i don't want to i wouldn't want to put a relationship in a in a situation or a position where we now have to sit down to say or to argue about every single thing that I might view as problematic and you don't find as problematic. Mm, I get that. And uh, I agree. I think for me to sort of sum up how it should be done Mm. or treated Mm. is that, and I'm taking it to the scripture now, right? (laughs) (laughs) Um, If your eye causes you to sin, Mm. if your hand causes you to sin, then take cut it off mm-hmm. pluck out that eye mm-hmm. so whatever that ends up becoming the reason why you or you us mm-hmm. we end up arguing mm-hmm. for example the touching yeah let's stop it mm-hmm. if i spend too much time with you and it i mean with the with my friend and it, it does not sit well with you mm-hmm. i should stop it mm-hmm. so so what i'm saying is that we should never, for, for those of us, or those of you, mm-hmm. who have friends with opposite sex, you should never allow that, re- that friendship mm-hmm. to be the reason why your relationship could, could, could be said to, to, to have problems. Should, should not be one of the problems in your relationship. Mm-hmm. So you need to, it's like, Fine, we, you and I as friends, before maybe I was in this committed relationship or any relationship, 
we used to carry ourselves in a certain way and it was cool with us because that's what we enjoyed or that's what I enjoyed in you, you know, and you wanted to, you know, sort of um, give me what, you know, mm -hmm. I enjoy from this relationship. Um, but just like I had to make difficult choices or I, ha I will have to make difficult choices as to leaving my family, mm -hmm. like not no longer living with them because life my progression in life is that i'm gonna get married and be with someone mm -hmm. and stay with them and build my own family and so on so my my whole life dynamic i mean my whole life dynamic changes mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and so it means that even how my friendships are they have to change mm -hmm. not just with the opposite sex but even with the guys you sure. know guys to guys i can't be with my guy friend the whole day up until early hours of the morning, mm. you know, and I've left my wife and my kids at home. Mm. I told them to get you. Yeah. So many things have to change over time. Mm. So if you respect and you um, you value your, your relationship and the peace that exists in your relationship, you will be able or you will see it fitting for certain things no, to no longer um be done in a certain way mm -hmm. or to persist at all yeah so you will cut the number of times you interact with someone because you understand that listen this is an opposite sex mm -hmm. it could you know make my partner to feel a certain way mm -hmm. if i'm now you know always either communicating with this person mm -hmm. or communicating certain things with this person or behaving a certain behaving behaving in a certain way around this person you know um like for example now where when we are in the house how tell we popa how na friend how like hey banna i mean that yes. that's going to make me very uncomfortable yeah. or how this person i never i, I it does not matter what kind of joke i crack it's always but <laughs> when she's outside <laughs> You know, it's like, ah, ah, ah. More than the something. Yeah. Honestly, and she's, she's so think, relaxed now. Yeah, she's so in her element. I I really, really have to agree with you on the issue, yeah, consideration. Because I feel like that is important and that is at the core for me of this issue. Mm. Because what normally happens is that people... I will come with my own expectations or my own experiences and say that I don't want this or I don't appreciate this or I don't like this. But I need to be able to be considerate of you even in my expectations mm -hmm. and all of that. You also have to be able to be considerate as someone, for instance, let me make a practical example. Mm -hmm. In this case, you are pro that friendship mm. i am anti that friendship right so your being pro shouldn't be pro yeah ne, eh, like you you are rubbing it in my face that you are pro that mm. and therefore you come with all of these female friendships to me knowing how i feel about them and you don't care you know people who mm. give you not ultimatums but they like you found me like this I'm not going to compromise anything. I'm not even going to compromise the nature of like how we communicate with this friend of mine, even though I know that it discomforts you. Mm. You understand? I'm not going to change anything. I think that is something that I have an issue with where someone is like rigid and not willing to be considerate. Mm. Sometimes it's an issue of I meet this friend of yours and I can just see and tell that this friend has, I know you don't like this, but this friend has vibes, like bad vibes towards me type of thing. Or I introduce you to my friend, my guy friend, who from the first instance, from the first um, interaction, this guy, like, or I feel like entitled to your woman, you know? Mm. Even the meeting, he's he's cocky about it. He's like, oh, sure, sure, whatever. Like that vibe, babe, like that vibe. I cannot be blind to that. Even mm. if you raise it to say, I, 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 don't, I don't like his energy. I don't like how he is towards me. 
I feel like he might be having certain feelings towards me because I'm your person and he's your friend type of thing. Mm. So both of us have to be considerate, I, I feel, in mm. that situation. Mm. Um, I think there was once a poll-like question uh, on Twitter. They were asking to choose one mm. between your partner and your friend, your best friend. And I chose my partner, you know, because I feel like that's what matters more for me, uh, or to me. Mm. Because I'm, I, you and I, we have kids together. Mm. We are building a life together, building a life around uh, what we share, you know. Um, and so I can't over, I can't value my friends over the person that yes you may have come at a later stage mm. you know my friends have, have may have been there you know from way back yeah. but oxalayo the my life now revolves around you and a big part of my life mm. depends on you mm -hmm. as a partner you know um so much that we now have kids mm. you know so i could never so with that mentality mm. i could never sacrifice my relationship for my friendship mm. unless my relationship has become something that is toxic mm. and is not good for me mm. then i think i would have a good reason for that mm. you know to mm. take to make that decision you know i'm going i'm choosing my best friend mm -hmm. over my partner mm -hmm. or i'm choosing the friendship with whoever mm -hmm. over my partner mm -hmm. and i'm not saying i'm not even speaking about a case of when you have a opposite friend opposite sex friend but i'm just saying holistically when it friendship. comes to friendships mm -hmm. you need to be able to gauge for yourself mm -hmm. what or which is more important mm. friendships or your relationship mm. your marriage mm. whatever you may at whatever stage it is mm. you know and, um, um, and that will guide you okay so i was saying that i think for me and i'm sure a lot of women mm. that is a lot of women who may even have problem a problem with female you having a female friend right mm. that is the kind of reassurance that we need mm. and that we want mm. that if you had to choose or number one let me let me just put this out there number one i think it it wouldn't be fair of me to make you choose between you and your friends mm -hmm. between me and your friends right um i for one i've said this to you before that i feel like if it's friends that I found being in your life. I may not be 100% okay with that, but it's something that I can live with because I understand that they were there and whatever the case is. But I wouldn't put you in a situation or a corner to say, choose, choose, you know, choose me or choose them, you know, or if you choose them, then I'm leaving or whatever the case is. At the end of the day, it's your friendship, it's your choice, it's your word but that reassurance that you have a place and this friendship has a place but if i were to choose not necessarily to choose who i'm going to live with for the rest of my life but let's say choose to make a decision it's in that's gonna impact you i will still choose something that will favor you or your happiness that for me is reassuring and that for me is what i need in order for me to be like maybe we can reach a middle ground or maybe i can reach a point of somewhat compromise even though you know where i stand with the whole thing yeah mm. and i mm -hmm. yeah and i'm saying this because i feel like like I said to you, that the existing friendships, I understand. The new friendships, it depends. Like, it, 
it all depends on why is the friendship necessary for you to have it and blah 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 and how i feel about the person having met them blah blah all of that it all depends and it's not like a black and white thing even though you know where i lean towards mm. i'm your best friend at the end of the day and you can talk to me about <laughs> you can talk to me about anything and everything yeah friendships are not there only for talking sometimes they're just they are, they are there for doing stuff yeah you can do stuff with me it's not everything that you want to do with me like what ah come on babe i'm adventurous babe yeah it's not really adventure like i don't want us to get into okay this no i that one i can do okay that no but i'm just saying there are certain things that i could not do with you because mm. i don't like them mm. and i wouldn't want to do them with you mm. like shopping yeah. obviously yes we do go to shopping together i don't always enjoy it mm. sometimes i feel like you just women take too long right mm. so i'm just saying you know mm. yeah um but bottom line i think words will always i mean actions will always speak louder than words True. so what you do will always outweigh what you say mm. you know because mm. it will just confirm um what's your position in 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 everything mm. so i think that's where everything will matter mm. what you do at the end of the day yeah well, well, mm. yeah anyway guys that's our take what do you guys think what do you guys think let us know down below um no judgment here guys like your opinion is your opinion okay mm. if you want boyfriends and girlfriends it's your life but yeah. sure guys <laughs> if you enjoyed this one hit the like button and be sure to have subscribed we'll see you